All right, welcome to our iBook overview. Just a quick reminder first how to get to your iBook. You're going to go to your home page through the course, click on modules, and then you will see the week one course module open up. Sorry, it's taken a minute to get there. So you'll see our week one course module, and here are all our iBook chapters for this week. They are posted one chapter at a time. If you were to click on the PDF version, which means you can download it on any computer, it's going to look something like this. If you were to click on the iBook version, it's going to look something like this. Uh, the nice thing about the iBook is that you can add highlights and notes to the text as you're reading it. Um, the PDF version, I believe there are apps that will allow you to do that as well, like you can highlight here as you're reading. You can mark up as well. So really either version, the iBook or the PDF will work just fine. Because I believe most of you will be downloading the PDF version, we're going to go through Chapter 1 PDF to kind of show you some of the features of the iBook. When you first open up, it'll open up to the home page here. We'll have our copyright page. You can see I wrote this um, five years ago. And then we have our first part of Chapter 1, which is our general introduction. Each chapter will have a general introduction kind of explaining what the chapter is all about. Then if you scroll down, you'll see section one. Um, each chapter will also have individual sections. Chapter one has three sections. We have section one. You need to read this um, by Tuesday in order to complete your autobiographical narrative. But one of the things you'll see in each chapter section is some questions here to the left that will kind of guide you and get you thinking about what the information is the content and what's most important in this section. You'll also see we have some quotes here. I've tried to add visuals and quotes, things that go along with the content. And then you will have links to articles that will enhance, provide more detailed information about the content. With these links, when you see article links, you'll typically find a questions to consider guide along with those. So as you're reading the article, again, you can kind of pull out the most important information by looking at these questions. To get to the article links, you have a couple of options. You can either click on the link down here, or ideally click on the first link, and that will take you into the article. The majority of the articles have been linked through K-State Libraries. So I'll take a moment here and I'll pull up the link. Yours might take a couple of steps. I'm already lo logged in to K-State Online, so it's automatically taking me to the article link. You might have to log in first to libraries and then you'll get to this step. Once you get to this step, you're going to have a couple art options again for the article. You can download it as a PDF or you can watch it online. If you download it as a PDF, it will open the article and you can see it pull up here. Oh, here's the step where I have to sign in. Yeah, so I can sign in to my library account and of course now it's not letting me do it but you'll log into your library account and then you'll be able to open up the article so that's how that's going to work make sure you follow the steps though to get to the article all right and then if we scroll down you'll see there are some questions here that are posed to go along with the four dimensions of the autobiographical narrative and then applications for applying those in practice. And then in each, at the end of each section, the majority of each section, you will find a Your Turn box where it gives you um, tips or things, prompts to respond to specific content you've had in that section. These are individual options to do those. You're not required to turn these in. This is just something you can do to kind of get um, more engaged and reflect more deeply on the content that was shared. So that's section one. If you scroll down, you'll see section two of this chapter. It's going to focus on multiple intelligences. So again, we have our guiding questions here. We have the father of multiple intelligences, Dr. Howard Gardner, and then a quote by him. We'll have an introduction to what those intelligences are. You'll also have questions to consider. But these questions to consider go along with the video, which you also have in each chapter, you'll have video links. So to get to the videos, again, you're just gonna click on the link right below there, and we'll take you into 
the YouTube video by Dr. Gardner. I have checked all the links, made sure they were active. If for some reason your link is not working, uh, just let your TA know and we will get you a secondary link to open up the document. But no matter what book you're using, whether you use the iBook version or the PDF version, these links should be active. Scroll down, you'll see here's some more links embedded, different books and resources for you. Again, you can just click on the links. It'll take you right to those. Um, in section two, you are going to be asked to complete a multiple intelligence survey. So here's the link for that survey. Make sure you do that because that information will play a big role in later assignments this week, in particular your reflection paper. So anytime you see red, you're going to see a link for either an article or a video. Uh, the articles are embedded there to help enhance and build on what it is that you're learning. And then you have our last section, Chapter 1, Section 3. This one's about unpacking our knapsack. It's really what is this all about. You have questions to consider and then links to specific articles about this topic. And then we end with our reference page. So that is what each chapter looks like. Again, you can use um, whatever format you like, the iBook or the PDF. Just make sure to activate those links, watch the videos, use the article resources. All that information is there to enhance and build um, a text that is meaningful to you and specific to this course. If you have any questions about the iBook, let your, t your TAs know and they will forward anything on that they can answer to me. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the iBook. Look forward to working with you and hearing your feedback on this book. Thank you.